It's my first time playing Banjo-Kazooie ever, and I'm so glad that you're joining along with me. Hope you enjoyed this series and have a fantastic day. So I've escaped from the snowy tundra, and I'm, I'm keeping these lights off. It's gonna stay this way, but however, we're gonna switch over to spooky lighting. Ooh, it's looking super spooky, because it is Halloween time. It's October, it's October 6th, so I wanna keep the uh, spookiness as much as I can here. And uh, I'm back in the main area. Um, yeah, so what I realized I need to do, first of all, we're gonna go over here, because that's the next area. Uh, secondly, I realize that there are some times where you need to play as like the walrus and the ant in order to access some of the uh, jiggies. So some of them, like in the very beginning on Mumbo Mountain, it's like way on the top of the mountain outside of the area. That you actually need to be the ant to get to the area. So yeah. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go into the next area. I took a nap. I am very refreshed. I think I had caffeine withdrawal. So I'm going to, you know, uh, I, I got a little bit of... I got a big gulp. I'm not very proud of that, but it's here. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's that. Uh, Gobby's Valley, I think, is next. I don't really know. Uh, yes, it is next. Okay, cool. So I will uh, go back to the area I was at before and cross over and make that happen. Uh, I don't know. This is very, like, dark and evil and sinister and whatnot. Uh, is this something that, like, I can access? Yes, okay, so this is a new area. Wow. And it just took a life from me. All right, sweet. Well, my name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie on the Nintendo Switch. Actually, no, I can't even joke about that. I normally say, like, oh, it's the wrong console, it's the wrong, like, game, it's the wrong everything. But, yeah, no, I can't joke about that one because I really want this to come to Switch. I think it would make a ton of sense if it did. So, here's hoping one day it actually does, but for right now, no. I think it makes a ton of sense for it, too, because Banjo obviously originated on the Nintendo 64, and, you know, they would just get money if they did. But hey, I don't make those decisions, so I can't say uh, for sure. So, um, yeah. How do I cross this area? Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to tease to, to something these rhymes. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out what I need to do. Does it involve this? No. Okay, cool. So let me see for Gobby's Valley what I need to do. So I uh, head back to the sixth floor and head for the room with the giant vase. Once there, take down the bricks in the doorway on the left and grab the waiting boots inside. Take down the bricks? Take down the bricks. Oh, we tackle it. Oh, I've literally not needed to use that move for literally anything this entire game until that moment right there. So you know what? That makes sense. Okay, let's go through here. And maybe there's a secret special something or another over here. It's just... Uh, uh, another jiggy, probably? No, it's an, a platform. Okay, cool. So, platform. Make it happen. And it is... Oh! Right over there. Okay. So, it's an untimed platform. So, obviously, I'll go for it. We'll see what's actually uh, lurking inside of here. So, here we go. Nope. I keep messing up that specific move. Hold on. There we go. That's what I want. Nice. What's this? Oh, we're inside of there. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that made sense. So there's four Jiggy for uh, Gruntilda's area here. So, uh, yeah, let me go back all the way back and actually enter the area we need to. All right. Boots give me strength to walk across the sands of time. That uh, sounds like it should be a very philosophical song that goes on my album one day. You know, you know when the album drops, one day it will. You all know about it. It'll be some of the first ones to know. And there's obviously something hidden behind here. You know, hey, how you doing? Uh, Grunty's best friend at which school was the awful saggy something? Well, that sounds like a very inappropriate term without me finishing the sentence, but oh well. All right, cool. Uh, Mr. Palm Tree, well, there's bottles here. Uh, you'll find one more move in here. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, man. 
Trunker wants rain, Gif. I'm thriveling up. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? <laughs> Kazooie, eggs will, feathers will help? Uh, no. Cough, need water, help. Okay, will eggs, eggs help? Maybe? Just try it? No, okay, I thought maybe you could put the eggs in his mouth and yeah, there you go. All right, oh, there's a Jinjo right there. Very nice. Well, that's a, a, a great start so far. Cool. Now, if I just got like a bucket and got the water right there, would that work? Maybe, probably not actually. Uh, all right, well, I'll move up here first things first and grab all these. So the next area, we needed 450 of these. We already have 450 of them, so we're really all set with that. So we're already off to a great start uh, before we even go to the next area. And, you know, I typically don't like desert levels, so maybe uh, this level can redeem all the other desert levels. That's a giant hand. That's a hand. That's a giant hand. And I'm going to fall into the quick sands of time. Nope. Good. We're good. Cool. I'll just navigate over here and attempt to... Oh, there's the boots. Cool. I usually don't like the sand levels because I don't like any desert-related levels in general, you know? They're just very... Usually there's nothing going on, you know? They're not very atmospheric. They're just kind of whatever. But this seems pretty eventful so far. It's not just straight-up desert. The desert is usually very flat, you know? So it's another reason why I don't really like it all that much. You know, usually there'd be something right there, so that's why I try to do that right there. Uh, he's blinking, so that's got to stand for something, you know? So here's a, a Mumbo Jumbo token, which I think there is another one, like a hut in here. So we'll go for the uh, the 20, hopefully. And where am I aiming for if I use this right now? There's a magic carpet, of course. You, ca you can't, uh, can't have a level without the magic carpet, right? All right. So just a standard jump will do it cool oh that's a, a jiggy right there because that's definitely meant to be kazooie so let's try this move is really bad it just the aiming of this move is not great in my opinion um it's very it's tough to aim exactly where you're gonna go with this move in my opinion so i'm not as big of a fan of it and i'm just gonna go right i guess right into here Right into here. There we go. Nice. Just in the nick of time. Why wouldn't it be like, you know, just in the Josh of time, you know? Why is it right in the nick of time? I'm Ruby. I can be some of some help. No. We're looking for a treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. Okay. So at least he's not uh, restricting us from getting the treasure. That's good. But yeah, why isn't it like in the Carl of time? Why is it in the Nick of time, you know? Nothing against any Nicks out there, but like why why isn't it something else? And you know like I'm in a much better mood because like, oh, we have to be a snake. That's what we need to be. We need to be a snake in order to go in here and that's going to activate that. Yep, okay, cool. But now, how do I... Because if I have to get into the pyramid via that giant, you know, thing... Because clearly this is like where a snake goes, right? Like right in here. And it's a whole big thing. I think. So I, I don't, hey. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Uh, is there any other dialogue that you have or no? Looks like no. Okay. So I will ignore this for now and come back here and hopefully it means something in the relative uh, future here. It in looks like it involves Kazooie to some, I don't know. I don't really know. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just making stuff up at this point here. So, we need to find at least one Jiggy relatively quickly just to make it, you know, a bit more, not a bit more worth it, but you know, I just want to find stuff, you know? Uh, that's a camel, and that's the sands of time I forgot. Oops, my bad. Okay. Um, cool. Well, there's a magic carpet that I need. No, that's not what I need. Jump, there we go. Okay, I will wait right here. To see what... No, you know what? I'm going to press all the buttons. That's for a honeycomb. Okay. And that's over there. That's a time, right? No, it's not on a timer. Okay, cool. But I'm assuming it'll despawn if I go into a new area. So you know what? I'm just going to go see what Mr. Joe Camel over here needs. He probably needs to be freed, actually. If I had to take a, a very astute observation here. Nope. 
Okay. There we go. Cool. Because he's over on, uh, you know, he's restricted in this thing. Hey, buddy. Uh, Pant, it's too hot for Gobby. I need some shade. Please help me. Okay. That means shade? What do you mean? Here's your reward, bear. Gobby's off to cool down. And he just magically flies off the sand, and there he goes. So there's one Jiggy. Done and done. Cool. So... Nice. And I'll grab... Ah! Grab that. Okay. Uh, I'll grab these. And... Oh, it's gonna be tough to kind of jump. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Nope. And... Uh, time it. There we go. I thought it'd be a little bit tough to jump from that platform to the other, but nope. Not today. Good. And luckily, Kazooie... Oh, there's Jinjo. Nice. Um, I feel like that's gonna be the... <laughs> The catchphrase of his playthrough. Oh, there's a Jinjo. Nice. Oh, there's a Jinjo. Nice. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just no. Waste my time by showing the animation of it opening instead of just letting me go. There we go. Cool. All right. Lots of, uh. Lots of things here. Oh, geez. What is. Oh, we can't actually defeat him. Okay. Um. Do we need to. Maybe, like, flatten all these? Oh, never mind. I died anyway, so I can't actually figure it out. Okay. Uh, let me try. Oh, there's the shade. Oh, hey. They're chilling. They're talking out here. Trunker wants rain. Oh. Okay. Ah, that is it. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a matching game. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, I'm assuming there's a jiggy around here somewhere. Okay, that's a honeycomb piece. Okay, so I need to match Banjo and Kazooie, probably. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, stop. You stop. Over here, that's the honeycomb, right? Yeah, it is. Cool. Um, well, we have to match all of them. Okay. Uh, the egg, no. Okay, feather. No, nope. get out of here. You. All right, the note block I thought was over here. No, that's Mumbo. Okay, jeez. Uh, egg, I know egg. I know Mr. Egg. Over here. Avoid you. Stop it. Egg is over here. No. Egg is here. Banjo's there. Okay. I could just stop the video and figure it out, but no, that'd be a bit uh, too easy. Mumbo is over here. That I know. Nice. This. Kazooie. I think Kazooie's over here. Right? Kazooie is over there. Okay. Uh, egg. Uh, note, note, Banjo, Banjo I know is over here, okay, there we go, um, I'm not gonna get it, but that's fine, note, note, egg, oh, I'm so close, I am so close to getting it, that's unfair, well, it's not unfair, but, oh, wait, I might get it, actually, oh, wow, I actually got it, huh, with just one, one second to spare, I got it. Wow. That is actually incredible. Ha. Huh. I didn't have to edit to get it. Cool. Well, I'm kind of proud of myself. It's the most proud of myself I've felt in a long time. And no reason to obviously go in there. No, no, no. I've felt proud of myself recently before. I resisted to ur the urge to eat multiple um, fr deep fried Oreos when I went to the Topsfield Fair the other day. So, actually yesterday. So that was good. I didn't eat the whole five of them that they gave me. It was only, I only ate like a half of one. So, I managed to control myself on that front. And obviously, oh, you want an egg? You want an egg. You want some fried eggs? Fried eggs? One, two, three. You want three eggs. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. And that's a look another pyramid who could have thought that there'd be another pyramid. Oh, there's another one over there Okay, so it's basically do all four of them probably and that's gonna be your uh, secret to success there so uh, Yeah, I went to the tops field. I guess I'll talk about that here, right? No, I'll, I'll so I'm also so here's the thing I'm recording this in Luigi's Mansion and playing Undertale like all at the same time. I'm doing like a bunch of different things all at one time So like I'm gonna save the 
uh, Topsfield Fair stories for my Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon playthrough. So if you're curious to, to hear about uh, those stories, uh, that's where you can uh, hear about that. And there we go. Got that one very nicely. Because this one, I feel like this playthrough, I want to actually talk about the game and whatnot and, like, play it. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is very, um, nope, nope, okay. That's kind of not what I wanted to do, but all right, sure. Um, nope, okay, and there we go. Fly back up, one, two, and I'll make my way over here. So, okay, at least they give you a little bit of a, a platform to get back up on here, so that's good. So that way if you mess up, you can just go right back up there and you're good, right? That's good. Oh, and that's a small platform. That's a very small platform, and I failed miserably. And I died and got a game over. Didn't realize that one, so I will get back to where I was and do it again. Cool. There we go. That wasn't too difficult to get back to where I was, but, you know, it was still a, a little bit of a pain regardless, you know. You don't bank on being able to go all the way back and all that. So at least it saves your progress at least a little bit there, you know. You're not backtracking the entire way through, which is really great about this game. Uh, that's the difference between this and Mario 64. You know, at least, so Mario 64, if you defeat, if you die, then well, you know, you just restart the level and you're only missing one star, right? Like you're not like, going back into the same level at one time and collecting all the stars, it's going one mission and, you know, back again. So there's, that's a bit of a difference there. So it's not like you need to save your progress in between each of the worlds and whatnot. So that makes sense, I guess. But at least for here, whatever little bits of progress you made, that's fine. Uh, this is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face this wrath. Well, Mr. Sandy Butt... Uh, I hate to do this to you, man. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare for something. Okay, so I have a minute to figure out my way through this tomb, of which I have no idea how to actually get through here. Uh, I'm taking a very uh, lucky guess here in trying to figure it out and hoping for the best. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a definitive way from you know you to figure it out, so that's good. Um, let's jump over you. Did I actually figure it out? Did I just legitimately figure it out right there? Wow. Wow. Okay, so I missed the Gruntilda little thing there, but that's fine. Wow. I literally got it without me needing to edit anything out or, like, anything. That was amazing. I was gonna say that was flawless. Tremendous. Oh, what? Oh, there's Jinjo. There's Jinji in there. Mr. Ginge. There we go. So that's three of five. That's cool. I like this game a lot. I really do. I'm, I'm just trying to... Like, I, I just do. I like it. I, I... Like, all the little things about it, it's not too difficult. It's just... You know, the aggravating parts are there, but it's not, like, awful. You know? I, I'm liking it so far. So, okay. Uh, where have I not been? I need to fly around, right? I need to fly through, like, that ring right there for whatever reason. Um, luckily, I can climb up these with Kazooie, which I don't think I should be able to do, but whatever. Uh, there's another entry point over there, so... Um, cool. Yeah, there's definitely that, like we have established before. Um, there's... Oh, there's, um, Bottles! Mr. Bottles! Cool. Mr. But... But... Botea? Is that bottles in Spanish? I don't really remember. I don't know why I pretended to knew, know that. Uh, these are running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run uh, really fast for a limited time. Cool. Uh, hmm. Your energy is a little low. Let me fill that for you. So luckily, yeah, bottles is kind like that too. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Oh, in the game. Cool. So bottles, is he just gone? Do we not need bottles anymore? Because that's kind of sad. If that's the case, but... Oh! That's Jiggy just out in the wide open right there. Okay. Uh, let me just grab that. Wait. No, it's not. Oh! It's by the hand. Okay. grabba has got a Jiggy. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Okay. Um... Do I need to be able to... Run really fast to grab it? 
Is that it? Yes, that's what I need to do. Okay. So it was out in the open, but you need to grab it with the fast boots. With the Sanic super fast uh, boots. So, Mr. Beetle? No. Beetle? No. Beetle? Really? Okay. Never mind. That's just a big pile and never mind. Uh, let's see where those boots are. And that is for the tippity top of the, the chasm there. And it still wastes my time by doing that, but oh well. Uh, can I make it to the top here? Uh, well, I should have backflipped uh, up that way there. Or maybe not. No, yeah, I should have absolutely done that. There is absolute. Oh, we need the boots. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so the boots will be able to let us go that fast. I get you. Okay, so these boots must be nearby. They must be nearby. Well, luckily, and Gratilda tells you that, too. She's like, all right, well, you need the boots. Uh, I, or the shoes, rather. Shoes, boots, whatever. Again, I keep drifting over to that left side there. Toward, like, that way. Because it's still not... That arm not being there is just really detrimental to, uh, you know, me being on camera, I guess. Uh, where are the boots? So there are the Sanic shoes right over there. Cool. All right. Nice. And, ooh, nope, don't want to do that, but that's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, I can go super fast now. That's Sanic fast. That is the absolute definition of uh, Sonic fast. Okay. And that's kind of loud, but that's fine. Okay, so I need to probably redo this and find the actual... Nope, we're good. If I can get up here, then that's fine. But I need to not have my timer run out or the other timer run out. I think I got it. I don't know how long they last, obviously, but I've only used them this one time before. And it doesn't seem like I'm going that much faster, if I'm being totally honest with you. Like, it doesn't seem, like, crazy, crazy fast. But, like... Clearly, I need to, yeah, better manage my time there. All right, so I'll retry that, clearly. Let's do that. There we go. Not into the hand, and I died. Really? Oh, you, you. Come on, you stupid thing. Uh. Oh, yep, there it is. Cool. That, sh mm, that was... Like, oddly close. That should not have been that close to go and get that, but all right, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Grab all... I gotta grab all these, too. And avoid the mummies. Yep, that's a thing. And... Glide just ever so slightly underwater. Go, go, go. There we go. I got it. Cool. All right, and now I can just get out of here. Oh, and now... Now the water level goes. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and that all fills up, you know? I probably should have done that first before doing the other thing but oh well you know that's the uh the nature of doing things out of order i suppose so that's just a little bit of everything there and i actually may have messed up by not grabbing that mumbo token oh that's a face it's a face. oh you know what that does too um does that raise the water level for the other thing too that'd be cool if it did for the uh the tree that might actually work out very nicely Okay, and then there's the um, the area where I gotta grab it out of the the thing's hand. So let me uh, no, I didn't. I really didn't want those. That's for and it really interrupted the animation. Huh. Okay. Um, can I grab these without the bees getting me? The bees, not the bees, not the bees. There's actually uh, at the top field fair. The one thing I will mention there is a um, uh, like a whole bee section. Like, dedicated to, like, getting honey and all that sort of stuff. And, like, they actually teach, like, beekeeping courses and whatnot. And I low-key thought about it to take it as a course. There we go. Because, like, it's a really cool... Uh, well, well done, mortal. There you go. Um, I thought about doing it because it sounds really cool. And, like, I, I really like honey. Honey just tastes fantastic. So, like, I, I thought about, like, actually taking care of uh, bees and doing that whole thing. But... I don't know when it actually happens or any info about the course in general, but yeah, you can like learn how to beekeep, and I think that's pretty cool. So if you see me uh, wrangling bees eventually, uh, don't be surprised because uh, I warned you at this point here. Now, is that uh, 
Okay, that doesn't do anything for the tree over there, at least not that I can tell. So, uh, what other section have I not looked at here? Because there's actually a couple of things. There's this thing over here. I don't know what this guy wants. Like, maybe we can uh, make something else happen. Oh, that is that, um, that's just a one-up. All right, I don't really care about that. Do I, like, jump on his face? Oh, no, it's just to fly around there. Okay. But where is there another flying pad? I thought there was one. There's one, like, way down below. But what about, like, up on this section here, you know? Or do I have to... Re I don't think I have to reverse what I did. I don't have to lower the water level to actually access those pads. I don't think I need to, right? My doze is all blocked up. My doze is all blocked up? You mean your nose is all blocked up? One. Two. Hey, that tickles. Okay. How about this one? Uh, one more? Could've just got, got some, like, pepper. And, like, peppered his nose. And that would've done the trick, too, but okay. And that, uh, clears that area up. That's cool. And there we go. Nice. Uh, come on inside. Thank you, Mr. Sphinx. Sphinx, yeah. That's the name. Sphinx. Alright. And you need a little bit of that. Nope. Right? Yeah, you're good. That's what you need. Yay! Oh, so we gotta do this. Oh, Gingy! Hello, Jinjo! Meow, meow, buddy. Meow, meow. Alright, let's go over here. Mm, glide. There we go. Cool. Alright. A little bit more. Yum, 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 yum. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, anything over here? No. Okay. And fly. Ooh, that's that. This is precise platforming right here. All right. Do that. No. Luckily, these don't like fail forever here, or like they don't like disappear until you do this. That's a real test there. All right, and they give you a little bit of height too, which is good. So that's six. Uh, does it lower us to the bottom? No, it does not. Okay. So we just gotta be very careful about what we do here. And I'll die anyways. Great. Alright, let me fly through the center of this thing. Because he looks very suspicious here. Right? Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Well, if you insist... On me beating the witch because that is I think a I guess a common goal amongst everyone in this uh, entire game which is fine you know there's the other one over there so they're uh, conveniently scattered everywhere throughout the desert area so let's uh, peruse on over and see how many I don't know how many are here but whatever you know it's all good and fly nice convenient oh that one just runs right into a wall so that's even more convenient. Okay. Or I, I have to swing a, a really sharp left here. Or go in between the cactus, rather. So let's go in between the cactus. And yep. There we go. There's the other one. Basically in a, a not completely circular fashion here. Okay. And up. There we go. And oh, there's more. Cool. I don't know why they're all blinking, you know. Slightly disturbing. Maybe. Maybe. But you know what? It adds a little bit of character. Just to see all these very big statues blinking everywhere. And, oh, well, I did that. I didn't, uh, you know, I probably have to go back to there. Something else that probably appears there, right? In between the, uh, the blinking cactus. That would make sense. Now, where is that one that I'm missing? Is it over, oh, way over here? Really? Yeah, cool, because all the other ones disappear after you uh, unlock them. And then I don't know what is over here or how I get through there. That one little section there. We haven't gone through there yet. And I don't know if I want to risk everything to go over there and grab that statue. I'm kind of feeling no. Only joking, mortal, we can only give you this. Oh, cool. So we can only uh, get the jiggy, but that's fine. Because that is more than enough to get us on our way. Cool. So I feel like I also don't need to use that magic carpet to get over to that section where there's, uh, you know, that door. But hey, there you go. There's number, what, seven, I think? And that is number seven. Cool. All right. Uh, let's, uh, 
You know, I could go back inside of the Sphinx, but I feel like I already got everything really in there. There's a couple of musical note blocks I didn't get, but I'm not too determined to get those. I'm like, whatever. So let's do this. And oh, that did not work even remotely. So, okay. Uh, let me try that again, because I, I think I do need to do that. Or maybe I won't, because I'll just die. I always forget this is a thing. You can just poop out an egg. For some reason, I just... I can't ever remember that that's a thing. You only use it like two or three times to actually get a jiggy or something. But yeah, you gotta, I guess, poop the eggs out. That I did need to look up, because I, I totally forgot this was a thing. But, oh well. Uh, poop it, and nope, that's not gonna reach it, and that's a poop. Or it's a little bit more, I should say. Uh, a couple of times, I should say. As many times as I can poop them out, right? No? Ah, a thousand thanks, my friend. His step will now help you with your quest. Uh-oh. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. ba da 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 ba 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 Oh, cool. That's convenient. I don't know if it's on a timer, but whatever. That's eight. We're still looking for Jinjos and whatnot, but that's okay. Uh, I, yeah, I thought maybe we got a snake ability, but after I found that there's no Mumbo hut in the area, I'm like, all right, how do I actually do this? So, cool. That's all done. This I didn't realize we need to do. He has the, the water inside of his nostrils or inside of his belly and you just there you go he's done and getting jiggy with it getting jiggy with it there it is oh and he's an actual tree now okay cool uh, can I climb you no um oh there are shoes over there I didn't realize there were actually shoes over there cool um maybe yeah I definitely just do this right definitely just like you know, yeah, go right over there. Cool. All right. That made sense. Bam, bam. So there's still that one other section that we haven't gone to over there, you know, with the door and the magic carpet. So let me go over there. Oh, we needed to get Gobby out of there to actually access it. Well, that was convenient enough. I didn't realize that. Sure. I'll just uh, take all this and uh, Gobby. 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 Hey, man. There you go. Oh, it's a honeycomb piece. Bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Barge through the door? You're not barging through the door. Okay, well, I'll take the honeycomb piece. That's cool. Can we actually... Oh, we got another life. Finally. That was kind of not worth all the trouble, it seems. Okay. And that's not a door we can apparently go through. Cool. There he is. There's that boy. Just chilling down here. And I think that's number 10, right? And once we get Mr. Ajinji. Jinji. That's like that's the name of the gingerbread man from uh, Shrek 2. It's like ginger, Jinji bread man. There's number 10. And unfortunately, we didn't get the actual animation here because we're underwater. But uh, yeah, cool. So that's it. Uh, that's it for this entire area here. And I might as well grab some more of these to make sure that we have them. And that's it for the entirety of the desert area. I do have to say, I'm liking this area more than the desert area. Dry, dry desert in Mario 64. A lot more eventful. And I feel like that's how I feel about a lot of this game. You know, some levels are better than Mario 64 as like a 3D platformer sort of deal. But others, not as much. So, uh, I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to go to the next area because I'm still... Now that, like, I actually made progress and it didn't take me 7,000 years to complete this level, I'm actually feeling playing the game again. So, I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me, your boy, Lincoln Log Larry, a.k.a. Brian Saviano, a.k.a. The Only Bricks O Brian. And I'll see you again next time for more Banjo-Kazooie action in the very near future. Peace out. Bye.